Hey everybody, welcome back. We are doing Lua Basics and we are doing some drawing today. Get out your pencil, paper, and your favorite watercolors. You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> We're gonna do some drawing today and let's talk about the basic class here in Maine. I wanna make sure that you know that this setup function, this guy right here, is only called once at the start. So that's how we start everything. And then, in order to draw everything, we do draw here. And let's talk about how this works. So if we do red, and we set up here, and we're going to run our setup that has all of our colors. Remember all our colors we did the other day? So we did background red, and we run it, and it's going to flash. Oh, it's ugly. And that's, it's doing it once. It, it doesn't, doesn't look good at all. Whereas if I come down here, and I put it right here, it does it every frame, 60 frames per second, all right? 60 frames every second, it runs in there and draws it over and over again. So that's a little hard on the eyes. So let's uh, let's go to do a little blue action here. Boom, there it is, all right, if that's not any better, right? <laughs> all right, cool, so there it is. That looks much better, right? Uh, that's blue rather than it flashing and flickering over and over again. So that's how that works. So when we're drawing stuff, we usually wanna go into the draw function, right? Yes, and usually you want to start doing things after you've drawn the background. For example, let's come in here and let's put an ellipse and let's put it right in the bottom left at zero, zero, and we'll make its width be 100 and its height be 100. And now watch if we do refresh here. It doesn't come up because um, it's under the background and we've not filled it with a specific color. So let's put, uh, let's make it green and let's see if it does. Does that work? It does not. Now let's take the blue background and move it up top here and put it right there. And now notice what happens. The green, can you see it? Uh, you cannot see it because of its particular position on my monitor here. Let's try that. There it is. So notice it's on top there. Whereas if, let's keep the fill here. These are like layers. If you've done any sort of drawing with layers, uh, this is basically a layer here to where level nine gets uh, drawn first and then level 10 goes and then level 11 goes, or layer line here, not level, and then we go from there. So if I put the ellipse there, you can't see it because it's behind the blue background. It's drawing the ellipse first and then it's doing the background. Whereas we put it there, it's gonna draw it on top. Okay, so that's one of our shapes, is the ellipse. Let's move it just a little bit higher here, so you can see it. And notice here, I do have a height and a width. If I just get rid of that one, um, it will put it up and it, it will be a complete circle. Whereas if I put 50, it will be more oblong. I do 500 and ooh, it goes really, really big. So let's just do a nice circle like that. That's how you do ellipses, really, really easy. And let's just say I wanna make a red square on top and I do a rect, so rect, rectangle obviously and you give it the particular position on the screen and you give the coordinates or the the length and the width here so if i do that boom it should pop up here in just a second oh you can't see it so let's do 200 there it is uh wrong one you still can't see it <laughs> only i could get this down there it is boom there we go all right so it's gonna put it up there so you've got your red square and your green circle and we can make it green by just doing that we can make it black by doing that and that's really cool it looks like there's a hole in the background there let's put it back to red i think that's cool so that's rectangles ellipses and you can make them however you know skinny you can make lines like that if you're doing a maze uh, you can do like a thin line there you can't really see and there we go something like that so there's your rectangle Awesome, huh? 50. All right, a couple other shapes you can do. You can do a line. You give a particular coordinate where you're starting. So we're gonna start down at zero, zero. And let's go to the X of 200 and to the height. And that should draw it here in just a second. So here's the, the stroke color is with this. So if I do red and then the stroke width. We'll do five. There it is. Awesome. So notice it's putting a stroke around that red, that circle, 
which is not necessarily something we want, but that's okay. You get the idea there. And we can change the width to 10, and we'll make it thicker of a line. We can do that, and it's a, very, it's a much thinner line there, and it's putting it around that green circle there as well. So you need to make sure you give the color of the stroke, which is that, and then stroke width, and then the line, again, is your first X and Y coordinate right there to your second X and Y coordinate. That is the, the width and the height right there. So I probably can do that, and it will go across the screen, okay? All right, and what else you can do, you probably have seen this in the past, where you say, hello, world, and you give the proper X and Y coordinate. Let's just say the width. Uh, let's just put it at width times 0.25, so a quarter way, and the height will be halfway, and we put parentheses there, and there it is, right there. And it is red, so if I do fill, and we put white in there, have we described what white is yet? We have not done white, so let's go up to the colors here. And let's give white a name, 255, 255, 255, boom, come back here, oh, forgot the color, all right, and let's hit refresh, boom, there it is, and it is pretty small, and we can do font size, we can change the font size, and we can do 100, and make it ginormous, or we can do 50. Boom, there it is. All right, so you're adding a whole bunch of stuff there. And remember, it's layering. So the white goes on top. So we're now, exa for example, if I move this over to the same positioning as the rectangle, the rectangle position is 200, 500. It's on top of it. Now watch what happens if I take this and I put the red rectangle on top. So I'm going to cut that out. The red rectangle is gone. I paste it right there and notice it's on top of the text because we drew the rectangle last. All right, that is very, very important for you. All right, sprites. Let's look at sprites. This is another really, really good thing here. So let's just say I want to put in a sprite. Let's put in planet cute character boy. And we're going to put it at 0, 0, and let's see if it pops up here. There, yep, he's down there, but you can't see him. Let's move him up. No, that's X. We want to move him up. So we'll put it at 200, and there he is, right there. So if, you, if you're not using air code, it's, it's much easier to put the sprites in, but if you tap on the parentheses, it will bring up your menu of all the different characters. So the other thing you can do is the camera. You can do, for example, I can type in camera. Boom, and there's a picture of the camera. And it's using my back camera at this point, so that's not going to work uh, because it's covered up. Uh, but if we go back to planet, cute. Boom, there he is, okay? So sprites are very, very handy. If you store them, you can use Dropbox, you can use your own um, actual photo logs there. If you're taking pictures or drawing pictures on your iPad, that's really handy, okay? So those are several different things there that you can do. Um, a few other things we can look at are the different types of modes. You have uh, an ellipse mode, which you can do whether you want to do, you want to do the center of the circle, you can do the radius of the circle, and you can play around with these and see what they do, and the corner. So that depends on where you're putting the ellipse. So obviously right now, uh, let's take this cut it out and let's put up to our ellipse here and let's do the corner and watch what it does it's going to put it it's going to move the ellipse here it puts it in the corner whereas it should just default i believe to center it puts it in the middle there and then the other one is radius and that makes it a little bit bigger okay that deals with the radius there so that's the ellipse mode there you can do uh there is a rect mode this one's set up here. This one is the same kind of thing, center, radius, um, center from the, the radius there. It's gonna make it bigger. Uh, it's using the radius, and then as opposed to the corner, depending if you want the corner to start the where the drawing goes. And then the other one is there's a sprite mode. These are the different kinds of modes that you can have here, sprite mode. And again, the same thing, where is it positioned? Is it positioned at the X and Y in the center? Is it positioned 
uh, in the corner. So it's going to be put in the top right corner there. And uh, you go from there. So there's several different things that you can do, which is pretty awesome, pretty customizable, all right? So you can do uh, stroke width, which we've talked about. You can do no stroke. So if we don't want to have that green circle to have uh, a stroke, we will come over here to where's my circle, where's my ellipse. Good. Okay, we can say no stroke like that, and it won't have a stroke, whereas the line will, because we come back and we say stroke of red. So if we want to have the red rectangle right here, and we say stroke, and we put black, it's going to put a black stroke, and we do stroke width, and let's just say 10. It's gonna put a 10 stroke width around that rectangle. Other customizable things for your text, you can do the text wrap width, which this wraps the width depending on how many pixels you did. So there it is, it makes it a little bit bigger. If I wanted to do just to have hello and then world, we can try and fix it in there uh, a little bit. Let's try 50. And then there it is, hello world is on top. All right, so uh, another thing with the colors, this is kind of cool. When you're filling things in, you have color of red. Here, I believe, let's try this. If we do zero, it makes it disappear. Oh, it doesn't do it. Um, there's a thing called alpha, and this is the transparency. So watch here, if I put in 100, you will be able to see here in just a second, hopefully this will work. Um, it's, notice it's transparent, that's called the alpha. You add that into the end, where zero is completely transparent. Boom, completely transparent, and then you go up to 10. It's getting a little bit, and we can go to 50. And then it's getting a little bit shaded in there versus 250 uh, is going to be almost unrecognizable, whereas 255 is completely filled in. That is called the alpha, and that is to deal with colors. So if you want something to be transparent, that's what you're going to do. All right, well, that's pretty much it for your drawing when you're wanting to put different characters and sprites and shapes all in there. Use all of these different things that we looked at today, all right? Well, good luck. Have fun in Codia.